What is up guys, today we're going to be looking at the Redmi Note 8 Pro versus the Moto G8 Plus. The G8 Plus is going for 200 bucks, and the Note 8 Pro is going for 250 So two budget uh, smartphones here and uh, let's see which one is going to be best uh, for you. Uh, so starting off with the hardware, so on the Note 8 Pro you have a glass um, a glass design. I keep I keep wanting to say this is metal, but the railing on here is actually, actually plastic. Uh, this is metal though, but it is uh, essentially just a glass back phone, but it feels more premium than uh, the Moto G8 Plus, which has a plastic back, and it is definitely uh, a little bit heavier. So on the Note 8 Pro, you have a quad camera setup with the fingerprint scanner and on the Moto G8 Plus you have a triple camera setup uh, with the fingerprint scanner so they both have physical fingerprint scanners no in display uh, fingerprint scanners on here and they're both uh, pretty fast as you can see so I can just get into phone boom no real problems uh, so on the side you can see same setup volume buttons uh, power button left side you have your sim tray now at the bottom you have your headphone jack and USB type C on the Note 8 Pro but the Moto G8 Plus actually has stereo speakers uh, which is going to be pretty interesting you only have one speaker on the Note 8 Pro and the headphone jack is actually up top on the um, G8 now on the Note 8 Pro you have a bigger display it's a 6.53 inch 1080p display 395 for the PPI so it's slightly bigger than the 6.3 inch display on the Moto G8 Plus uh, but on the G8 Plus it's still a pretty nice uh, resolution it's 1080p and it's actually 400 uh, for the PPI so as far as displays go uh, they both have a really nice display uh, you can't really go wrong but the Note 8 Pro is a bigger display and uh, I think it has uh, just slightly less bezels than the G8 Plus and it's just by a little bit especially at the bottom and on the railings as you can see but um, as far as the design and the display uh, you both have practically the same display uh, both uh, the quality wise uh, they're both pretty much the same they both have the little water drop notch as well so let's talk about software because they're both running Android 9 so they both don't have Android 10 uh, yet but they most definitely will uh, one of the things I really love about uh, these Motorola phones is that it's pretty much pure stock Android with virtually no bloatware uh, which I really love and you have the Google Now on the um, left side here which I absolutely love I wish it was on every Android phone and on the Note 8 Pro, you have the MIUI, which they have this over here, which is not as useful. I never really use it, uh, but, you know, it can be, I guess. Uh, and you also have just more customization on the um, Note 8 Pro. So as you can see, I can do a whole bunch of stuff on the Note 8 Pro. And as you can see on the G8, it's just super simple. I just have more stuff that I can do, especially if I just hop uh, into settings here. I can really go uh, in depth with gestures and everything. You have gestures and stuff with the Moto Action, uh, but as far as like just having a whole bunch of customization, uh, you're definitely going to go with the um, you know, no A Pro pretty easy. It just has just more stuff you can do here. Now on the G8 Plus, you have a Snapdragon 665, Adreno 610, micro SD support with 64 gigs of internal storage and 4 gigs of RAM. And on the Note 8 Pro, uh, you have the Helio G90T processor, the Mali G76 um, GPU. You also have micro SD support, 64 gigs of uh, internal storage and you also have six gigs of RAM so both these phones are super solid uh, for gaming I think the Note 8 Pro definitely has the advantage because of the six gigs of RAM uh, you're just able to have more applications and multitasking and this plays Fortnite and the G8 Plus uh, does not support Fortnite so if you're a gamer I would definitely go with the G or not the G8 but the Note 8 Pro uh, just because of the more RAM and that G90T it's just gonna be better and this phone does not really get hot I will do a gaming test on the G8 Plus uh, but it's, so far it hasn't really gotten hot since I've been using it but let's go ahead and run a quick uh, little speed test uh, here starting with the YouTube 3 2 1 you can see the G8 got it right there uh, let's go ahead and do the Play Store look like a tie there let's go ahead and try the camera applications on both which is very important look like the Note 8 Pro but I wasn't sure I was looking through the camera uh, but as you can see they're both very fast phones very spot on alright so let's see if we can hear the difference uh, with the speakers so dual speakers one speaker let's start with the G8 Plus So 
so you should be able to hear the difference uh the g8 uh, plus is just much louder but as far as like sound quality uh, they're both kind of the same it's just louder on here so for speakers uh definitely you know two is always going to be better than one all right so let's go ahead and talk about cameras so on the note 8 pro you have a quad camera setup 64 megapixel wide 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor shoots in 4K 30 FPS. You also have the 20 megapixel selfie camera that shoots in 1080p. So on the G8, uh, you have a triple camera setup, 48 megapixel wide, 16 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Uh, so you do have 4K at 30 FPS as well. 25 megapixel selfie camera shoots in 1080p. Uh, so as far as cameras, I'm going to show you uh, some still comparisons. I definitely prefer the Note 8 Pro. I just think the colors are one more accurate on here. And you definitely get more detail on the Note 8 Pro. Uh, so I really like the Note 8 Pro for out size shots but as you can see the G8 is still really good for its price but uh, you know the Note 8 Pro is just a little bit more expensive so you're just going to be paying for it you know extra camera so you have to kind of make your decision based off of that so you know if uh, you know having a slightly better camera is more important to you then definitely are you going to go with the Note 8 Pro. Alright, so let's talk about battery life. So you have a 4,500 milliamp battery on the Note 8 Pro with 18 watt fast charging. And on the G8, you have a 4,000 milliamp battery with 15 watt fast charging. So the Note 8 Pro charges slightly faster, which I always appreciate faster charging. But as far as battery life goes, I'm getting kind of like the same screen on time on both these phones. So you can get to a day uh, with both these phones, no problem, even a day and a half if you're a light user. Uh, but Good battery life on both, so you can't really go wrong there. Even though this one is bigger, uh, I just noticed that it didn't really matter. I think stock Android has something to do uh, with that battery management on the G8 Plus. It's just really good. So even though this has a bigger battery, you're not going to see a huge difference uh, over the G8 Plus. Uh, so that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? These are two really solid, solid phones. So be sure to let me know which one you would go with, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to let me know which one you guys would go with, and I will catch you guys in the next one.